let's talk about the matchups. Uh, for all in, we have Dennis Piccarelli in leadoff on scratch on lanes one and two. Under him, Dave Pietro, your anchor, Frank Komet Jr. Talk to me about Kaya, Mr. Brain. Kaya is a team, as you, as you look at their team, they can be up and down all season. That's the reason why they're in, in seventh place. Sometimes it's a matter of availability. But right now, they're fighting for their life, as you said, for to even try to make the playoffs. Uh, currently on uh, the leadoff man will be Rob Hilgar, uh, Joseph. Procasino, I Pro believe Casino. talked about. Yes, yes, I don't want to mess nobody's name up. And last but not least, Rob, Robert Pramaza, Pramaza Jr. Jr. Yes. yes. Now, looking at their averages, you would think they would they would be an overmatch in this in, on this uh, at this in this match, but you never know how. Well, well you're talking over match. We're we're talking their anchors are two thirty nine to a two twenty two. You got two two thirties and two and a pair of two teens. And my thought is, well, wait a second. Cruiserweights can shoot three hundreds. Yes, cruiserweight serve. Your your average is around there. You can't tell me that you can't shoot a seven hundred. Well, it's, it's not about just one game. It's all three games put together, and your averages say averages don't lie. And so, if you average two fifteen, two nineteen, and two twenty two versus two thirty five, two thirty, two thirty nine, and you're looking at these these gentlemen here, I'm, I know all in scratch pair. They're a very 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 tough team. They've been in a bunch of fights in the past, and this how, like you said before. This house is, is hard to bolt, can get become very uh, squirrely. So let's see how that, how actually both teams perform, especially through the first game. All in seems to have put up strikes already. Let's see what uh, Kia can do. Well, we got we got one strike so far from the scratch side. David P Di Pietro has got to focus on the four seven over there. Now all in, obviously they've been the dance before. They have uh oh. Of course, now that we have just said that, the ball gets <laughs> eaten by the gutter monster immediately. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, all it has been in this spot before. They have been coming into the playoffs, I believe, two straight years as the number one team out of the PA North. They're looking to make it three years in a row. However, Procaccino, your, your favorite bowler's name, is looking to change that strike over here. I'm going to ask for Joseph right now. Joseph, Procaccino would be how you spell it, how you pronounce your last name? Procaccino. Procaccino. Okay, so he got it correct. Okay, thank you, sir. Procaccino with the strike. And a six pin from Komet Jr. Right now, Ali wants to be known as Winner, or Yo Buck, which is the name on his jersey. Right now, top shelf over there, over there, AKA Panaza. Leaves, leaves a two pin, that's certainly makeable. Yes, Feels a little bit tentative right now, but spares beat opens. The one thing and about- Right now, Allen's got an open, so assuming he makes a spare, a quick lead. Over by Kaya. One thing about Rob uh, Pramaza is that he's a, he's a gamer. He's a tough bowler. Once he sit, once he gets his shot, once he's lined up, he he'll give you a major battle. I've I've had battles with him in the past, and this gentleman here is a strong bowler. Once he figures it out, he can give anybody a, a run for their money. One of the things that we've seen in earlier matches it, uh, is that it takes a couple of frames for bowlers to warm up, but once they warm up and they're locked, then look out. If you can get locked in Hamilton, that would be a great sign early for whoever can get locked in because it's not easy to get locked in in Hamilton. Exactly. Hilger right now looking to get his first strike of the match, and he does. And when, when not only that, this house hooks a ton. And so anything, this, this match may become unpredictable as the second and third game comes along. And hooking a ton means if you're going to play it down and in, you got to throw some speed on it. You can, you can throw it out, watch a hook back in, but again, speed is the issue as well. You can't throw too fast. That is correct. I mean, correct. that makes sense. Well, duh, of course you can't throw too fast. But <laughs> especially in this house, the speed has got to be just as accurate as the accuracy. But the thing about this house is Pecorelli also right now with the double trying to get all, trying to get the ten pin lead that all in is behind, trying to get that right back. The thing about this house also too is that it, you you can play down out and in and, and be very successful well just like lodi and i say that because that's my home house there is more than one way to get to the pocket you just have to figure out the correct way that is correct commit right now looking to know he is the piero the first person 
that is open for either bowler. Still struggling a little bit, and that could spell trouble here, especially Pramaza. As you said, one of the tough bowlers can get a strike because that'll give him four marks. Best all in can do is tie, and they're already down by 10 early. Ooh, that looked good to me. Nine pin up there. I agree if you go, Gordon, but it's still early. So once, once when we get around fifth and sixth frame, that'll tell us how this, this match is going to go. It's not how you start, but what? How you finish. There you go. Even at the end of the first game, it's not necessarily going to say anything, especially if they're going to go back and forth. And with Hamilton lanes the way that they are, I can see a lot of back and forth. I can see a lot of hidden eight pins, nine pins, crazy counts that you think, oh, that's going to be a strike. And then all of a sudden the seven, seven pin says, oh, no, it's not. Hello. Not to add any extra uh, pressure on all in. They're, once again, they're the number one team in this division. They just they just moved ahead of uh, South Jersey Strike Force, and they're, we're, the, the hardest part is that once you get to the top, you have to try to finish. They're only, what, two points ahead of the second place team? They're two points ahead of second, I believe. I'm going to look at the standings right now. They're two points ahead of second. They're ten points ahead of third. Still very tight between the top three. And fourth place coalition's actually around 20 is 28 pins behind. So if they have a really good day and Allen has a really bad day, Allen could go from first to fourth. Everybody in the top four is playing a different opponent. I agree. Which makes it very dangerous for all in this week. Because even if they win, depending on what everybody does, a win could put them down to second or even third. That is correct. If they only go 22 and the other teams go 38 or better. Well, all in needs to make sure they handle their own business. This is where, when you start to talk about the playoffs, this is where you have to start looking at uh, chemistry with your teammates and get prepared for the playoffs because to what top one, two, and three, and four is only a difference of 20, 20 points for each, each team. So everybody has to handle their business today. All in is now starting to wake up. We finally get a strike from DiPietro. Now, if Komet can double, then they will be up. The best that Kai can do is four, so they'll be up five to four, and then we'll be tied again. Hilgar looking to make the spare. That ball's got a, oh, my goodness. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that, Gordon? Yeah. Drive-by. Drive-by. So we've had one gutter monster showing and one drive-by appearance. <laughs> so you said, we have said, Hamilton can be squirrely sometimes. Yeah, but he, he actually did that to himself. He threw that ball way out where it's going to hook, and it came back oh, so it strong. Hooked. Yes, it did. It, it definitely hooked. Yeah, speed was not the correct speed. He missed. I just believe he just missed his mark, which, allowed, which caused him, because he went past five. That made him angry. Yes. A lot of anger management on it that needs to be done in this, on this team here. <laughs> no, we see angry. We see top shelf. Right now we got Yo Buck. Yo Buck looking for the turkey. And we got a 10 pin. Kaya coming off strong. However, they're starting to make mistakes in the third frame. And any momentum that they have, they have just given right back to All In. Now can All In take advantage of it? There's a question. Well, now, all, all in, by the way, being represented by A, B, C, K, I, D, E, F. For those that are trying to follow along, looking on board. Oh, my goodness. That is two oh, opens two in a row opposite. for Kaya. On the scratch pair, no less. I, and one pin spares, nonetheless. It yes. wasn't like a split. It was a one pin spare. One of those spares, a four pin. When you're that on the scratch missed. pair, you can't afford to miss any spares. You, you cannot afford to miss any spares, and you cannot afford to miss any spares with Frank Mc Jr. on a double, Piccarelli on a triple, and Pietro finally getting on the board with a strike. So right now they have five. The best that Kai can do right now is one mark. And that mark, if they get it, it's going to be a spare variety from Pramasa. Not exactly what they were looking for as a, as a start off. But... Well, Once again, they started off strong, and now they're in trouble of being down 40 pins quickly. Well, remember I told you, and this is only the third frame. I say I gave them the benefit of the doubt of the fifth and sixth frame. It's not how you start, but how you finish. Well, it's one thing if you're a cruiserweight to not carry. It's another thing if you're any bullet to miss, 
Missed one pin spares. Ooh, and he just made that one. Well, let's put it this way. Cruiserweight should not be on the scratch pair. I, it's cruiserweights can be on the scratch pair. Cruiserweights just can't miss spares. If you have, if, if you have, if you have, bowl, you if you have better, better, if you have better, higher average bowlers, you would prefer to put them on the scratch pair. Anyway, going into the fourth frame, he'll go right now. Ten pin. He has to pick this up in, in order to get the momentum or, or stop even, the bleeding. Well, even if he does pick it up, they may not stop the bleeding. All of all ins bowlers going into the fourth frame are all on strikes. If they're all in doubles, they can be up by trip digits in the fourth frame alone. Look at over here at JR. He's like, yeah, Gordon, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we I'm need to make sure do, Gordon's right here? Yeah. Do we need to call the paramedics? Uh, not yet. We may need to call a priest. <laughs> Here's a shot from Piccarelli. That ball looks good. It is. Great shot. Four in a row. Four, Four in a row for Piccarelli. More importantly, five straight strikes from all in Scratch Squad. And they're starting to take a little bit of a gap here on the scratch. And you can't do that. Oh, my goodness. That's one of the things that you, you, you said. We're talking about straight strikes. We have five straight strikes from all in. And meanwhile, we have four, three straight opens from the top two bowlers on Kaya. Let me ask you a question, one Gordon. Do you think and that again, it's, it's, you know, if you're a 150 average bowler, you got to make your single pin spares. Spares win games. Spares win games, and more importantly, spares stop bleeding. Yes. Di Pietro right here. That's six in a row from all in, Scratch Squad. And that lead's starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Ask me something, Brain. <laughs> Let me ask you, do you think that the, 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 the house lanes itself is affecting the match already? Absolutely. Do, do I think, we, we all know that Hamilton is a squirrely set of lanes. So we all know that. You gotta figure out the right speed, you gotta figure out the right angle, you gotta figure out the right anything. It's not, this, this house is not throw the ball out there, watch it come in and get a cookie. Exactly. It's not that sort of house. You've and got you to have to keep. You here. have to keep your speed up in this house. Yep, seven in a row, maybe seven in a row, all in. Komet Jr. three in a row. DePetro a double. Piccarelli four in a row, and the scratch pair is threatening to blow game one open. Pomaza, right now, this almost has to be a strike. It is. That's his first strike of the game. So, congratulations to Rob. And and. You know, it's weird to say you need strikes now in the fourth frame, except if you look at it, it is 6-2 six, six in terms of marks. That puts them up to 76 pins. It's a good thing that the other two bowlers have strikes for marks because at least that will sort of kind of maybe slow this down. Well, but if they don't, if this turns into 10 in a row, then mathematically, all Ed will be up by trip digits. The other not, concern. Not put at this point, will. Here comes Piccarelli again. Oh. Okay. Now it's the big question is going to be, what does Rob do on his on this shot? He has to throw a strike here. Yeah. Well, well again, it's it's. Fortunately, the nine pin said, okay, we're going to end this string string of strikes at seven for all in. However, has the damage already been done? They're already up. But it doesn't mean that Kia can get back into the match. At he least they do. They, they have to hope that uh, All In... They get back into it, but first of all, they have to hope that All In stops striking. And exactly. Secondly, they can't have any more horizontal dashes connected to their score. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Well, not, I was going to say, not, not as sorry as what Hilger's going to be feeling if he doesn't throw a strike right now. Hilger, 57 in the fourth frame, and it doesn't even matter if you're a cruiserweight. If you're a 215 average, you don't want 57 in the fourth frame. That is correct. Hilger now, Gordon, just, to, just for those get up who there who've and never seen not. the hold UBA. On one, hold on one second. Right. Doing the bowling commentary. Now talk. Okay, just for, the, for, for those who have never watched the UBA before, can you talk a little bit about the scoring system and how a team is, comes to a win? That's very good. We didn't we didn't discuss that. We shall right now. So here's how this works. Each game is worth two points. Overall wood from each pair is four. The most you can get on any pair is ten. The overall wood, in which case the total combined wood of all three pairs, is a bonus ten points. 
so you can get as many as 40 points. In this case, it's not just good enough to win the game because all points matter. Any points that you get are added to your standings. So when we say that All In is only up by two points, let's just say they get 30 points. If either team that's trailing them does more than that, then there's a good chance that All In will be removed from first place. So for All In, they really want everything. They want 40. That is the only way that they can guarantee that they will stay in first place. Obviously, if that happens for Kaya, their season is over. Kaya has to win, or mathematically their season is over. Thank you, Gordon. Right now, the scratch pair in All In is trying to end Kaya's season just on the scratch pair all by themselves. They're trying to do it themselves. Pocatino right now. Strike, strike, nine open, strike. Look at a double here. Again, trying to get back in the scratch match. That's a light mix. That works. That will match what Di, Di Pietro did in the second half. Double for double. Now, can Permaza do the same for Komet? Komet's working on three in a row. At least Permaza doesn't have any, any open frames, meaning that he doesn't have any. So the question becomes, can he strike out the rest of the way? At least keep the, keep the totals in between the two teams down. If they can do that, they can make it more of a competitive game. Right, right now, he's staring at a 75-pin deficit. And it's going to be more than that if he doesn't strike, because that's exactly what Komet did. Again, another five shot on Wood carried over by All In going into the second half of game one. In order to match that, Pramaz has got a strike here. Here's that shot. Looks that like ball's going to stay in there a little bit light. No, it doesn't have an eight oh, pin. Oh, man. Now, I didn't like that shot when he came in. You were hoping that that ball hooked in a little bit. Yes. It did not. It I was hoping put. that it gripped the lane because he tossed it out there. But sometimes when you do that, you, you miss the oil and the opportunity for the ball to grip the lane is to smack into the pocket. You're talking about gripping, grip, gripping it and ripping it. He gripped it. He didn't rip it. Yes. So All In is now going to be up 85, assuming that he makes a spare here. And he will. All in up by 85 at the halfway mark of game one. And again, this is a match that Kaya desperately needs. Second half of game one. Pick early starting off. He's the only person right now for all in that is not on a strike, which is ironic because he threw the first four. <laughs> Lead off man sets up the sets the tone for the match. He d he's done his job. So far. So he has to far. continue to do his job. If he shoots a 160 at the end of game one, he's not doing his job. Uh, I don't. For some reason, I don't think Dennis is going to do there. that. And no, uh, it doesn't look like he's going to shoot a 160 this game. <laughs> Pick it really back on the striking train. However, Hilgar, whose name is Angry right now, has good reason to be angry. He must be angry at himself he because he he, I would he, be angry he has, at myself has not at this he point. has not set the tone yet for this match for his team. And he continues not to. Tempin. The good thing is that him and the rest of his teammates are still talking about how to get back into the match. So that's a good thing. So they don't have a defeated attitude. Yeah, they're, they're still talking. They're, they're still doing what they need to do in terms of communication. However, here comes Di Pietro looking for four in a row. No, sir. Seven pin. His ball went deep into the pocket, left the seven pin. Ball look good to me. Yeah, I, I can see the speed that he had on it. Is he gonna, uh oh, I'm not sure if that gets there. Oh, it does. Yeah, he got it there. We all look at this at different angles. I have a little bit more of a diagonal angle. That that ball looked like it was gonna tail out at the end. Fortunately yeah, for him, it held. You don't you already have two opens, you don't need a third. Exactly. Only way that the scratch pair could even stand a potential chance of coming back in this match, that they're going to need to, they're already down, what, 105? They're oh, no, they they actually still have a bull up there, so they're, okay. only, they're still only down 75. Right. If he strikes, he can cut it down to 65 if Komet doesn't, doesn't strike. First things first, Yo Buck, a.k.a. Procaccino, needs to go buck shooting. <laughs> Is that shot? Good that's shot. Buck shot, that's a good strike. He seems to have the best look on Kia's team at Definitely. the moment. He's going to need help from uh, 
He's gonna, from need, help from, he's gonna need help from both teammates. Yes, but it's, it's it, I mean, right right now, if his teammates go Dutch, neither of them will hit 200, and on the scratch pair, that is not gonna get it done, and it's certainly not gonna get it done when their low game looks like it could be a 250. There's another strike. That is now five in a row for Komet. And Frank. all in will hold serve. They'll be up, a, they'll at least have four, which will guarantee that they'll hold on to a 7 5 pin lead. Though that is a very nice strike from Pramasa. Seventh frame coming up, all in nursing, I'm sorry, an 85 pin lead, not 75. Yes, it was 75 before this one. Right. But you're right. Looks like all in is set in. They're doing a lot of damage in this match at the moment. On the scratch pair, that is. Well, what you're saying right now, and you're absolutely right, the Kaya scratch pair has got to hold them here. Yes. They've got to hold them. Even if they don't win the game, they, they can't let the scratch get out of control. And we've seen many times scratch teams win by 150, by 200. And even if that's the case, you still have your, your, your first and second team handicap that can bring it back, can make the match closer. Well, you want to bring it back, but you want to maintain it at 50, 60 pin lead. Right, you want to mi minimize it, You don't it, yes. want them to try to catch right. a 200 pin hole. That is correct. Kia has to get that lead down from all in or else it's not. It, they're going to be like, good night, Irene. Well, Hilger right now looking to get back on the strike train. He does double for him. No, that was I mean, Dennis. I'm sorry, no, that's you're right, that's Piccarelli. Sorry about that. Piccarelli gets back in with a double. Hilgar is, has seven has three left on the on the left side, so Yeah, and Hilgar needs to make this fair he does. He got lucky. I don't disagree with you on that. I, I just think that he needs to change balls. His ball's not starting up early enough. I also think he's throwing the ball too fast. Yes. So that'll help compensate if it starts up early. This way you don't have to change the way that you throw the ball. I agree, sir. Right now, Bocaccino, who has been the light for Kaya, three in a row, looking for four. The Pietro right now still sparing. Leaves a four pin, that's a makeable spare. But again, if Kaya wants to keep it down to under 100, they need a strike here from Bocaccino. If, if and then they need another strike from Pramaza for a double. But then they can potentially cut into All In's lead. But Kai is running out of frames. Not only are they running out of frames, the, the concern here is can they at least get on the strike train? If they don't get on the strike train collectively, they don't stand a chance to even get it down underneath they're be 100 left points. At the station. Exactly. So the station's going to go off, and they're still going to be there in, in Newark while the train station's going down to Philadelphia. <laughs> at 30th Street Station, I hear you. Secaucus Junction actually is a really nice train station. Good shot right here. Yo, Buck, another Buck shot. That's good. Four in a row. Buck said the Buck stops here. Well, he needs the Buck to start and continue there, Pocorino. He needs the Buck to stop for all in. Meanwhile, Komet on five in a row looking for six. And again, a strike here guarantees that all in will not lose any marks. They'll have five. The best that Kaya can do is five. At this point, Kia definitely needs uh, Rob Permaza to, to strike here just so they can stop the bleeding or stick a finger in him. Stick a finger on the dike before it explodes. Exactly. That is six in a row for Komet. Frank is locked in. He doesn't seem like he start, he, he's even have the slightest bit of, uh, oh, boy. Oh, that's a bad shot. He didn't stay underneath the ball. He came around the ball kind of early, didn't follow through on it. He did not. Not bad shot. Too light of a hit. Four six. The four, the six, the seven, and the two are up there. And even if he makes this, they'll be down by 90. If he misses this, then you're looking at a 110 pin lead by all in. And look at it this way: your top bowler, which is Pecorelli, and your bottom bowler, which is Kamen, oh, and there's goodness. the open. So right now, all in by around 110. And keep in mind this, your leadoff bowler and anchor bowler, which is Piccarelli and Komet, respectively, can each go out for a, two, a 279 on top and a 290 at the bottom. Then, then you may get close to that 200-pin deficit that I was warning about that you don't want. Yes. We were first trying to hope that they would get it, keep it underneath 100. Okay. Mr. Hilgar just shot, made it's a strike here. Strike. Yeah. 
Now, let's put it this way. If Hildur goes out the door, it's a 203. So even if he goes out the door, he'll be alone by himself down 76 pence. Yeah. If we see another strike here from Dennis Pecorelli. I am DP. Let's see if Dennis is going to shut the front door on him. I am DP. Another strike. Three and over for him. Going. It ought to be outlawed what they're doing to this, this scratch team. It's it's only, as you said, it's only game one. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. However, in the words of Yogi Berra, it's getting late early. <laughs> My concern is if they get beat by 200, that can be demoralizing, and that can affect your 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 focus in the rest of the match. It could also affect your handicap pairs if you're seeing, oh my God, I gotta I gotta make this up. That is true. It can affect the rest of the team. You're right. Well, right now the only person that's stopping it from being down 150 or worse, right now is Pocacino. That is five in a row for him. He can go out the door for 267. He's trying to match what uh, Frank Comet does. The problem is he can only match one striking bowler, not two. Yes. And he you, certainly can't match all three striking bowlers. There is one from DiPietro. By the way, if he strikes out, he's going to be the slacker on the team, striking out only for 236. Oh, I'm sorry to hear slacker. that. <laughs> Pramaza has to get a strike here. He at least followed through pretty good there. But he pulled his uh, arm. No, that, that ball got yanked. Yeah. See what he's trying to do. He actually, I believe, he tried to overcompensate for what he did in the last frame. Yes. And sometimes, you're correct, sometimes when this occurs, you begin to feel the pressure early in the match. Absolutely commit. Right now on seven six, in a row. looking for seven in a row right here. Will he have it? Yes, yes he, he will. will. Stereo. <laughs> seven in a row by Komet. We will, we will have the spare by Pramaza, except, and a big except here. Another 10 pins picked up. All ins now up by a 120 going into the ninth frame. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know if uh, Kia woke up ready to bowl today, but they better do something different. I don't know if Kia woke up willing to, ready to bowl today. All in definitely woke up ready to bowl today. Yes, they did. At least on the scratch side, we will check out the handicap sides eventually and what Kaya needs to do they need to pound on the handicap side or at least start taking some games there they can take 20 on both 20 on both and then hope for the scratch to do some sort of damage right now they're not doing any sort of damage the damage is being done by all in Pecorelli another strike that is four in a row and you're wondering based on what he did in the fifth frame should he have the front nine by this point should we be looking at a 300 oh he'll guard just Oh my goodness! Well, that, this, this is not this is not pretty. He, no, he, his arm, he, had, he must have had chicken wings yesterday because his arm pulled away from his body. And when you do that, you're guaranteed to let your ball go well, long. If he has chicken wings right now, his ball's flown the coop on that shot. <laughs> that is a one, two, eight, ten, and that is another strike from De Petro. From De, from De Remember when we said before, all it had seven in a row. Right now, they have another six in a row. If Komet strikes. Here, that would, ooh, almost on the spare. If Komet strikes here, that would be eight in a row for him and eight in a row for all in. That's and all of a sudden, that 200 that I said that they needed to avoid it is now, objects are closer than they appear in that rear view mirror. And that, that 200 is lurking, sort of like that Tyrannosaurus Rex in Jurassic Park, if chasing your, the fleeting car. <laughs> if your buck doesn't strike here, it's, it's almost a foregone conclusion. They'll be down by 200 by the end of this game. Yeah, and I say Tyrannosaurus Rex because Jonathan Dansbury, a.k.a. T-Rex, and we'll be seeing him later on in this match. That is one of his nicknames. That is one of his nicknames. Oh, that ball didn't check up either. And the floodgates are opening. The dam that I forementioned that they needed to block is about to explode. Yes. Yo Buck just missed, missed the strike, unfortunately. He looked like he tossed the ball out and it went past... It didn't have a chance to grip the lanes, unfortunately. I'm not a big fan of people who toss the ball out unless you put some real hand into the ball as you're throwing it down to get that revolution started early. Well, it was working for him the past five frames. It didn't work for him in the ninth. He actually was putting the ball down a little bit early, so you never know. Well, he'll make the spare. Well, he picks his spare up, so. But they needed a strike. Well, they needed, they needed a whole bunch of strikes. 
And they're not going to, well, right now, they don't have any in the ninth frame. They do have an open and a spare, and possibly another mark. However, here's Quimp, looking for eight in a row. Is that ball, that ball looks good. Ooh. Ooh. Got a split there, he threw the ball. He didn't throw it with authority like he did earlier. He, he took some off that ball and unfortunately left him a, a split. Well, Kaya really needed that one or else they would be staring at 200 in the face. They are, however, still staring at around 150 in the face. They're, oh, and they're not even. not gonna help. They're not even over uh, 500 yet. Well, they're not at 500 yet. Meanwhile, all in, even with the open, is at 619 right now. Let's see if Frank can pick this up. Maybe. Oh, not for lack of trying. That is correct. 224 in the in the ninth frame for Frank Clement. I think he'll he'll go out. He should go off the sheet for well, 254. 224 in the ninth, which will be better mathematically than two of the bowlers already on Kaya. And right and right now, neither of those two bowlers will break a 200. That is correct. Unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for them, very fortunately for all in. And they're still up 42. So right now, a 140 pin lead for all in going into the 10th frame looking for more. The only thing that I can say that I hope out Kaya is that the other two matches, which we will get to, are much more competitive than this one. That is which correct. Which I guess technically is not saying much at this point. The question will be can Kia finish on the other two pairs, the other two handicap pairs? They need to definitely win on those two pairs or else this, this match is going to get blown wide open. If they win on both pairs, it could change the, the mindset of the team. At least they'll say to themselves, we have a shot here. We have something. Right now what the something is is five in a row from Piccarelli. Dennis is locked in from, from the very beginning. He started off with first four in a row, got a spare, and now he, he has uh, five in a row going through the 10th frame. Yeah, he'll go through a shot. That is the first ball that, that, he, that he threw that, that he really liked. I mean, he got two other strikes. They were both sort of sloppy mix. That was the first one that he buried in the pocket. Yeah, that's the first time he actually looked comfortable throwing the ball. Did you see whether or not he made a ball change? Big man, we can chat with him about it at the end of the game and see if he made any okay. sort of ball change. DDP, can you hear me? No, cannot. Four seven. However, he will finish somewhere in the two sixties. Great leadoff, man. Great start to a big a big match for all in. Yeah, man, and whatever he. Uh, Hilgar liked him that first ball. He certainly didn't like him that second ball. He sure didn't. He pulled it, unfortunately. He looks like he's a little angry right now. Very angry. At himself, of course. Pecorelli will finish with a 267. Hilgar will finish with a 158, so just by himself, they got 109 pins. That's a shame. I can hear Rob saying that's the worst game that he's pulled in the UBA. Well, he that's said, a very inopportune time for him to be doing that. Exactly, especially leading off on a scratch pair. He got beat by 109 pin, pins. He did. A.A. Ron. Head show, leaving a seven pin. Focusing we'll on right a quick now. interview with Mr. Joseph Hilgar. Ryan. Mr. Hilgar, you seem to be not settled down at the first in the first uh, game here. When that's over. Okay. Give me one second. Well, this first game. So I know, I know he's got, I, I know we have the interview all set up, but we're going to be ending out this game first. Then we'll have the interview before we go over to game two. 
Okachino. Oh, that's a rare miss from him. That's his second open. Two or three. All right. Now. Okay, Mr. Hillgard. What, what, we saw the, the first ball that you threw in the, in the tenth frame. It, it went nicely into the pocket. What did you do? What kind of uh, adjustment did you make to get set up for the second game? So for the second game, I was struggling uh, with a couple different balls uh, throughout the first game, and I'm switching to a stronger ball. I switched over to the Eternity. Uh, try to get that ball into the pocket. I kept going through my break point. Uh, the second shot in the 10th frame was on me. I missed my mark. So if I can stick to that first shot, I'll be all right. Okay. Well, we rooting for you. We know that y'all have to win this game. At least you can make the second game more competitive, okay? Absolutely. All right. We, we're not rooting for you. We can't, we can't be biased, but we'd like to see a good, a good matchup here, okay? All right, sir. Thank you, Malachi Moore, with, with that insight over here at Hilger. Sorry, not Hilger. Hilger's over there. Yeah, it's Hil <laughs> oh, you mean Yo Buck? Yep, Yo Buck, Pocacino. Finishing out, he gets a 232. Looks like the last two balls that he threw, he actually uh, didn't, didn't follow through all the way like he was during the, during the game. So if Joe Buck, if Yo Buck goes back to following through like he did in the beginning part of the game, all in, I mean, Kia should be able to get back into this match at least, make it more competitive the second game. Well, we'll see right now the difference is obviously the leadoff bowler and also the anchor bowler. So Yo Buck is the only person, and he actually did beat his man on the all inside. However, he didn't get any help, and Comet, if he goes out the door, that'll be a 254. It's hard to beat a team when they're over 700. And it's the trios. It is, but you can't be down by 150 either. No, you can't. And that's exactly what's going to wind up happening here to Kaya. Let's see what Rob does is to stop the stop the bleeding. He well, needed I, a strike there. I, I was going to say, there, there's no stopping the bleeding at the end of this game. Dracula's already had his corpses. The blood's all over the place. He's invited his daughter Abigail to go join the feast at this moment. By the way, really good movie, Abigail. I strongly suggest you see it. I highly recommend it. But if you want to see a mini version of it, we have blood, gore, guts, maybe a piece of heart all the way over in lanes one and two. Oh, I no. better hope that they can find the rest of the heart because if they completely lose heart, this is going to be a Boy Scout compared to the gore fest that could be awaiting them later. I'll tell you one thing. I'm, I'm glad I'm not bowling in this match. Frank Clement goes out with it. Oh, my goodness. Frank Komet goes out with a 253. Rob Pramaza finishes with a 168. Okay, so we are going to be going in game two momentarily, but let's look at the carnage so far. That was game one. 165 pins on the scratch side. Ah, uh, yipes. Well, let's. We're going to take. You could, say, you could make a statement. Okay, so right now we're going to start game two over on pair two, lanes three and four. So let's chat about them all in. You have Andrew Wallace leading off. Jason Bechter, who you've seen him around in different jerseys, but not an all-in jersey, is in second. And anchoring Ed Walsh Jr. Who do you got for Kaya? I got They got the two brothers, got Daniel and Anthony. Uh, Procaccino. Procaccino. Like Cappuccino, except it's a Procaccino. And, and Matt Gebhardt. So the question becomes, now that's, they're getting, they're getting about 36 sticks on the, on the lane. All they have to do is really, now this is where, when you talk about averages and cruiserweight per division and things that, these guys can actually stay with them. They can actually pull it out because you have 220 and 230 bowlers versus two team underneath 200 bowlers and like that. So as long as they come to bowl and they, they do well, it's going to be a pretty interesting match. That This pair, they actually won the first game. No, they no. lost, a, they no, lost they the first, they lost run, the first game, but it wasn't by a lot. Yeah, well, let's chat with Gephardt here eventually when he turns around after he's going, staring at everything. You have Vector right now with an A-count. Matt, after you bowl, after you bowl, okay. Gordon, Gordon was yeah, it? We're going to well, have him finish his first frame. Yeah. Double Meanwhile, Wallace, a.k.a. Baby Pop. I'm sorry, not not Wallace. That's Fracaccino, Baby Pop. But that's now, a big strike. Baby Pop, actually, I bowled against him. He's, he's a pretty strong bowler when he gets locked in. It's a matter of his focus. 
Yeah, Bechter right now with the spare. And so right now, as you said, the difference is 36. Got Procaccinos chatting with Procaccinos right now. Kaya's got two missions. Number one, they've got to hold on to their lead. Number two, they have a 165 pin deficit that the scratch pair made that they need to clean up. That is correct, and it's not insurmountable to overcome. Absolutely not. But you definitely don't want to be down in the first in the first well, uh, after the be, first game that many pins. No, you don't. You also need if you're scratch, you need to make sure that you don't increase the damage, and we'll see more scratch later. But right now, let's focus on the handicap side. All in. That is Ed Walsh Jr. as the anchor leaves an open. Kaya can take a quick lead over here if we get a strike from Gephardt. This is on the first team handicap. That ball's coming up. That looks good. Left ten the pin. ten pin. Makeable spare. I would much rather try to make that than the than, than the three seven nine that's currently over on lane four. And Matt makes it does a good job picking up his spare his uh, ten pin. So. That shouldn't be too bad, too much of a hard, hard sell to pick up. Walsh tries to make the spare, he fails. That's a hard spare to pick up, period. That is. Gebhardt looking to make the spare. Add to their lead already. They were up by 36 going into the game and now up by almost 50. So Matt Gebhardt, Gebhard, no stranger to high pressure situations, also no stranger to the World Championship Series. What's up, guys? Nothing much. Now, last time I saw you, you had some gold around your waist. Yeah, yeah. You get so. your steak dinner now? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. You know, the championship Series is going good. I mean, I'm trying to bowl some uh, you know, team events with the guys. But uh, yeah, we, I got singles going next month, going to try to get my belt back. Which that match is going to be going on right now, actually, with Dan and uh, the the contender of the cruiserweight division. Me and Joe, we were battling back up for a, another shot at the uncapped, you know, tag team. So we got a couple more to go. We bowl uh, Nick and Audrey in uh, the 28th. So we got we got to beat them, and then we'll go try to try to get back up there. But uh, so I wish you it's going good. So I wish you the best of luck. Meanwhile, as you know, your scratch pair sort of left you a little bit of a present. I mean, like I said, we're, we're only, we've only been in it for a couple of years. We're trying to get our feeding under us. You know, we're, we're it's like David versus Goliath here, but, you know, we come out, we have a good time. We bowl, we bowl good, we bowl good. If not, you know, we're going to have a good time regardless. It's, it's, it's bowling, so we're trying to have a good time regardless. So. All right, well, you're, you're starting well here this game. I'll let you focus back on your bowling. We'll get back to you after the end of the game. Good luck, sir. Thank you very much. Thank good luck, buddy. My man. Good to see you. Okay, right now, looking to continue to make hay. And, ooh, I was about to say he does with a double. He is not with a double. Baby Pop leaving the 10 pin. I can't say Procaccino because there's two of them. Yes. We got a Daniel on top who is Sugarfoot. And then we got bottom, <laughs> we got Baby Pop. And then we got Crank It Up. We've got like a diabetic attack over here by the first two bowlers. <laughs> that is true. Bechter, Agent Zero over for All In, looking to claw back into this game. And yeah, it's, it's all well and done on the scratch side, but the problem that All In has is handicap for them is close in both games. So even if they win the game and they win the wood and they take 20 something points, 20 something points, as I mentioned earlier, will probably not be enough to keep them in first. That is why this match is important. If they only win 22, 18 or 24, depending on what everybody else does, they can wind up in third by the end of the day. That is correct. And and Kia can actually be played a play the spoiler spoiler today Big spoiler exactly every game that they win they take away from they pull uh all in out of the first place depending upon how the other teams perform absolutely i'm gonna go check out these scores momentarily after we get a couple of frames in that's our goal uh the, the goal is what make life as miserable for all in as humanly possible apparently would that be correct yes he's Yes, he says, nodding. Baby Pop just confirmed what we just said. Which is, they, they don't want to see all in the first. Exactly. And they wouldn't mind seeing him in third. If, even if they take six points today, that could be devastating to all in. That's true. I, it wouldn't be devastating because even if they're, even if they're out and the all in takes 34, okay, fine, they're, they're out, but they're only out by two or four points, which they can make up in position. However, if they only take 22, 
and all of a sudden they're steady, they're staring at a 16 point deficit going to position. They have to take at least 30 the next time around. So they made their life a little bit harder for them should they do that. And they will be most likely playing a tougher team, so you never know. Yep, all in right now, even up with Kaya, Mark Mark in the handicap for Spur. News, guys. Breaking oh. news. All right, do you have do you have scores? Um okay. it's score related. Okay, let's see breaking news. Dansbury threw a double. Whoopee. <laughs> you your your team your team needs to win at least thirty eight or, or more. You know, you can't win forty. But can't win forty anymore. Yeah, you can't win forty, but uh Man, maybe you needed a double in the first game. Maybe that would have helped you. Mr. Former Northeast Heavyweight Champion. I, I have a double and something the 10th frame. <laughs> oh, yay. Woo-hoo. All right, so, so while we're chatting with that disappointment, Kaya continuing to press. Daniel with a three-bagger. Matching the three-bagger, Andrew Wallace. We haven't spoken about El Pollo Loco. In a little bit, that is his UBA team name. He's matching up with Sugar Bear. Baby Pop right now, does he get the strike? No, he doesn't, seven pin. He keeps and again, I may, you may be interchanging me using UBA names with real names because again, we have a pair of Puccinos. So if I just say Puccino this, Puccino that, yeah, that's great, Gordon, which one? <laughs> well, Baby Pop is up trying to finish, complete his spare. Well, Baby he Pop with the seven pin. Becker, however, looking to close the gap with a double should he obtain it. Agent Zero. Agent Zero looking to leave zero pins up there. And he will. Big double for All In. What I'm Becker seeing here, Gordon, is that cut down All that In, boy. Agent Zero, he, he followed through all the way. Baby Pop didn't, and thus he got the strike, and Baby Pop left the seven pin. It was a, it was a baby carry. I didn't hear you. Baby carry. Yeah, baby carry, yeah. He's going to need a baby carriage if we keep bowling like that. All right, right now he's fine. So Walsh, a.k.a. Ying Shanda. I don't know if I pronounced that correct. I probably didn't. All in, looking to make it six in a row on the handicap side. Will not do that. He's double wood. He got a double, not the one that he wanted. Gebhardt's looking for the traditional double. Hard up. Double will keep Kaya at five marks to five, so then they won't cut into the wood. However, that is not a double. Definitely not a double. He's actually lucky just to leave a six pin. Is Walsh going to make the spare? Yes, he is. Walsh with the spare. And now a 45 pin deficit has turned into a 35 pin deficit. Again, with the assumption that Gephardt makes a spare. You know, let's, let's chat about this in terms of the carry because you're talking about the bowlers. It looks like the handicap for Kaya's bowlers has a better carry or has a better look than the scratch bowlers. Would you agree with me on that? I would definitely agree, but sometimes the, the lanes in the house can play differently. Like one and two sometimes can be the hardest to play because of the simple fact that uh, nobody generally plays on lanes one and two. So it doesn't get a lot of utilization question now becomes with the scratch pair they're already down again and they're, they're down at least what all right so focusing here on handicap Pocacino with another strike I'm sorry with not another strike looking for another strike actually I thought it was a strike because they cleared the pin out there and got off the strike well, so that didn't strike, so while we're waiting for the pins to be reset. Looks like Key is bowling better on the first team handicap, much better than the first game. They don't have any opens at all. They seem to be, they were on a string of strikes. Sugarfoot was on a string of fights, strikes. He left, left what? What did he leave, the 10 pin? Uh, it looks like he left the 10 pin. Okay. Meanwhile, Wallace, who is on three in a row, is looking for four in a row. Here's a shot. That ball looks good. Nah, Maybe a little bit high. No. No, nah, he didn't get out. He, he, he dropped his speed on the shot. Even if he had, even though he missed his, his mark, 
had he kept his speed up, he had a good chance of, of knocking it, throwing a strike again. So neither one of them shot a four bagger. They both shot three in a row, shot a turkey. Three in a row, single pin. Yeah. So advantage now, a slight advantage swinging over to all in because keep in mind, Vector is working on a double. Everyone else on Kai is working on spares. Will he make the spare? Of course he will. Wallace with the spare, Vector up next. Meanwhile, on lane four, we're waiting for that 10 pin to be set up. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, it looks like there may be more of a mess. Than, than originally advertised. Yeah, it looked like a, a split. Let's see if it goes back up. At first, it looked like it was only. Uh, first, I thought it was only single pin. I thought it was exactly. So we're going to see what's going on on lane four. Lane three, meanwhile, here comes Vector looking for a triple. Shot from Becker. Could it be three in a row here. No. And he leaves a 10 pin. 10 pins for everybody. Well, that's definitely not a split that's left up there, so he's going to convert. And Sugarfoot, Sugarfoot picks up the spare. Got Baby Pop coming up. <laughs> AKA, I don't know. AKA Procaccino. I'm going to guess he's the youngest one out of that just based on the name. Exactly. That would be my guess. Becker Eight. looking to make this pen pin. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Heart palpitations there. Don't hurt it. Don't clean the wood. And Baby Pop comes back with a strike. They're trying to make... Uh, Kia is trying to make a make a statement on on uh, well, right, first right, team handicap. Well, right now the statement is let's not lose a 36 pin wood that we got in the, at the beginning of game. That is true. That that is a statement. But what the statement really needed to be is let's try to get more wood so that we can try to help out the scratch pair. Now, how is the scratch pair doing over on these one and two? Unfortunately for Kia, they're not doing too good. It looks like they're. Looks like they're threatening to be down by 34 pins, if not more so. Going back over to Walsh, Link said right now, can he get a strike and get back on the striking train? Here's a fourth frame. That ball looks decent. And he trips. <laughs> All the fingers go down. I don't think that was one. Of, he just looks like he's about to switch balls on that one. Yeah, he was, he was debating about it against himself. I think his other self may win. Yes. Even though he did get the strike, that definitely was not the carry that he was looking for. Yeah, the ball came up strong again. Looks like the lane conditions are changing, even for the lefties now. Get part, looking to keep pace. Can he match him? Oh, Ooh. not only can he not match him. Yipes. 479. Crank it up. Needed to crank that shot up. Oh my goodness. He didn't crank it up. He didn't bring his feet and do a good follow through on that on that shot either. No, he didn't crank it up. He did break it down. <laughs> So assuming that Gephardt does not get the spare, now all of a sudden it is makeable though. It, it is, it is makeable. makeable. Question is, is he going to make it? And the answer is not that way. Not not that way. He needed that. that he needed that ball to go in front and see, act like he was going for the seven pin. Yeah, there, there's there's two ways to make that spare. He didn't shoot either of those ways. So now that 37 pin lead a couple seconds ago is now going to be a 23 pin lead. And anytime you're giving handicap, you want to try to play keep away. You do not want to get caught. Sugar, oh, that's a fancy footwork strike. Yeah, Sugarfoot's back on the strike game. Let's see if Baby Pop can follow up with a strike as well. Well, Baby Pop, the only person on KO right now working on a strike. Walsh on all in, also the only person working on a strike. El Pollo Loco is up, AKA Andrew Wallace. Agent he Zero is behind him. Yes. He's going to be the key. Not sure about the key. I think the key is going to be who can carry first. Well, right now, Kia seems to be strike, uh, on a strike, nice strike game. Coming up there. Uh, 
Nope, four pin. He didn't get a he, he, he didn't get a strike there. Right now, you know, we talked about this at the beginning. Lanes are going to be squirrely. The only people that really figured it out was game one over the all-in scratch side. But if it continues to be a seesaw matchup like this, the advantage is going to be with Kaya. That is correct. They're getting 36 pins, a difference on handicap one and 38 pin difference on handicap two. Baby Pop doubled up. Double for Baby Pop. And now they, they want to get back the wood that they lost that last frame. Get part now up. Yeah. Actually, before he's up there. Yeah. We calling y'all by y'all by y'all nicknames. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of Frocatina going on. Oh, yeah. okay. Now I'm gonna guess because he's baby pop, he's the youngest. That's your brother. Okay. And that's our cousin. Really? Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Get part is a cousin right right now. Cousin needs to show up with a strike. Or at least a mark. He needs yeah. to crank it up. That's what he needs to do. We'll be here all, all day, folks. Vector, eight for eight pin. Left to ten pin. That is a, should be a makeable spare for Gephardt. Agents here are looking to make the spare of his own, he will. So if All In wants to cut in, they need a double from Walsh. Gephardt will make the spare. And Kaya gets four marks on the board. Looks like the handicap pairs are more competitive in this in this matchup. Uh, what do you they're, what do you think, Gordon? Looks like they're more competitive in game two than their, than the scratch game was game one. Now, meanwhile, while we're waiting, I'm going to go try to get some scores from the other two because this is going to be one of those matches where people are going to be looking to see what's everybody else doing. Yes, everybody's so, going to be like interested. Sort of like September in, in Major League Baseball when you do some score watching. Exactly. So I'm going to do some score watching. I will be right back. All right. Right now, Kia on the first team handicap are up by 25. On the second team handicap, all in seems to be trying to put the screws to him a little bit. Right now, they had their uh, anchor man Troy has not Troy Goffkin has not thrown the ball, so we don't know how what the true total is that they're up yet. Andrew Rawls with a strike here on first team handicap for all in. Let's see what Troy Gafkin does. And he throws a strike. So now after six frames, all in on the second team handicap. <laughs> he up by 27 six. So let's see if they can maintain that. They need to hold that. They lost the first game. Agent Zero with the first ball in the sixth frame. Leads three. Let's see if what Baby Pop can do. He need if he strikes here, this this uh, match will become even more important. They're up currently without even ba Baby uh, Baby Pop. They were down earlier. Kia was down earlier on the uh, first team handicap, but now they done pulled ahead by eleven. Let's see what they can do with this shot here if Baby Pop th throws a strike here. 
missed his mark, but he still got a, a Brooklyn strike. So that's not the best way to throw a strike, but at least he got it. And Agent Zero left us left best left a pin up, house. so we're gonna have to see what happens. Kia could actually cause even more pain to uh, all in, especially with Agent Zero miss leaving a leaving a, a pin up, leaving an open in the in the sixth frame. So. Baby Pop got another strike. You got a turkey. How you doing, turkey? Well, the Procatinos right now combined to go, go five straight strikes between both of them. And and they are threatening to build a lead here. Get more strikes is definitely going to help. That he cranked it up. Marks for Kaya. So now they're going to they're gonna have the lead back up to 50. Meanwhile, I do have some scoring results here. And All In's going to be very happy with them because right now, second place has only gotten one game. And Hell Yeah, who's in third, has gotten no games. So right now, we could see some upsets from second and third. If they both go down and All In wins, all of a sudden, All In's got a, a big league. That's true. Which now makes this even more important for All In. That is correct. So, meanwhile, Dansbury. Over there in lane six. I'm sure Dan's very will be happy to see what's going on. I think he's already beaten his 172 that he said he's gotten game one in the eighth frame. Yeah, he seemed to be bowling much better than what he did the first game. And, um, except I, he is doing that. However, if you look at the scores, it is tight on both handicap pairs. And, and here's the funny thing. If, if Allen winds up winning this, it may be because of what they did game one on scratch. That is correct, with the total pins. Yes. Meanwhile, going back over to lanes three and four, Kaya looking to make some ground here on the handicap side. They're already up by 50, but more importantly, all three of their bowlers have strikes. Kaya's looking to extend. We have Procaccino number one, Ha ha, AKA Daniel. Ooh, he out of trouble. Out of trouble. He the was second on... that I showed up, no more strikes. <laughs> well, we not. <laughs> Just a reminder, I am known as Dark Cloud. <laughs> I was trying not to say that, Gordon. Yeah, well. I'll say it. I can say it. Me meanwhile, Dansbury is still staring at a score. Basically, listening in to Joseph Procaccino, he may have found something, and he may be communicating it with his teammates. It looks Andrew like Wallace the, looking to double up here. Looks looking like the family up. affair on uh, for Kia on the, on lane on handicap one. They're actually getting the job done this second game. It's going to be interesting to see who takes totals. Well, Procaccino right now having taking the double in the seventh frame. Uh-oh, I don't uh -oh. know about that one. See you in Durango. Yeah. And the gutter monster takes another meal. And the, the streak for you continues. The dark cloud. The dark cloud streak continues for me. Vector, with an open of his own, is trying to get at least a mark, get right back into it. Kaya holding on to a 36-pin lead in Handicap 2, which is what they started with. Now they got to defend it for four more frames. They got to defend it against that. A strike for Agent Zero, a.k.a. Jason Vector. If Walsh decides that he wants to throw a strike, here it comes all in. They'll have five marks on the board. Baby Pop Best has to throw a strike here. And he, he does. does. That's four in a row. Four in a row for four in a row for Baby Pop. More importantly, again, they're trying to keep all in at bay. That was Hold a big strike because their leadoff man uh, had an open. Leadoff, leadoff man uh, fed his balls to the gutter monster. We're not going to blame that on you, Gordon. He, he, he I am not responsible for Miss Spares. That is like true. I'd like to point that out. Non strikes, fine. Blame me all you want. I am not responsible for Miss Spares. Walsh is up first. Looking for four in a row. And he won't get it. Boy, will he not get it. 7 10. Let's see if Crank It Up can get another uh, strike here. Well, Gebhardt can strike here from losing 10 pins. They can gain 10 pins with double over here from Gebhardt if that ball will come in, and it will not. Leaves the 10 pin. 
at least they're hitting the pocket on a consistent basis. Well, they're hitting the pocket on a consistent basis, but more importantly for Kaya, they're Ed Walsh on his shot left a 7-10 split, so uh, that they, actually... Well, they need, they need more of that. That is correct. Mr. Walsh, because again, they're trying to hold on to a lead. Trying to make that one. It and he not. didn't pick up nothing. He did not. Gephardt looking to make the spare, and he will. And he does. So we're tied 3-3. Any thoughts of that lead going away? Doesn't go away. Now it's up to 52, going into the eighth frame. They've opened up the lead, but now they have to maintain it or, or try to open up even more. Well, they... If you're a Kai at this point, and again, you got to do some wood chopping because you know you're down on the wood after game one. That is correct. Now, remember, the first game, they, it was 444 to 418, so it wasn't that much of a, of a wood difference. But if they win this game by 52... Then they'll have the wood going in. Then, exactly. Then it's win the game with the wood. If they do that, they'll take eight points. And if they take the momentum, that'll be way more points than what uh, All In expected. Yeah, well, well, you already heard John Dansbury earlier. All in wanted 40. That They're is correct. They're certainly not going to get 40. And if the handicap games continue, they may not get 30. That is correct. The handicap continues the way that it's been. Back over to Wallace, looking to shrink the lead down. And the only way they're going to do that, him and Becker both working on strikes. Walsh working on an open. And now, while it's working on three in a row, big turkey going into the ninth frame. Vector, same position. Getting yet, because if you're down by 50 going into 10, chances are you're probably not winning that game. You may not win the game, but you can at least get the pins down. Depending upon down. Baby Pop needs to get another strike here. He does. Because again, it's now about trying to hold all in off at bay. That does not sound like a, no, it is not. A pin. A little light hit, still makeable spare. Yeah, that ball went a little long and deep into the pocket. It's, he has an easy spare to pick up, but he needs to pick it up. And he certainly does because that's a big double by Becker. Yes, it was. Uh, all in, though they were deterred in the seventh frame of making up some ground, they definitely will make up some ground in the eighth frame regardless. They already have four marks. Best Kai can do is three. He will make the spare. The thing is, going into the ninth frame, Got Andrew Wallace has, has, is yes. working on a turkey. And uh, Mr. Bechter, Jason Bechter, can, he can make it a turkey also in the ninth frame. Four in a row plus three. They're eating into that lead that was a 52, at one time 52. One point in 52. Now they're going to cut it down a little bit more. Come Walsh. Adam Mark make it 5-3. Cut it down to 30. He can if the ball hits here. And he will. And he will. All three bullers and all in working on strikes or better going into the ninth frame. Which again will guarantee if they double, they will eat into it some more. Well, Gephardt here at least looking to try to find a strike. Gephardt has to strike. He has to crank it up. He has to make sure he gets, hits his mark and no excuses. He's been inconsistent this game. Gephardt looking to crank. Again, Kaya needs all the points they can get. Obviously, they need to win. If they don't win, their season's over. Gephardt looking to get some strong. Oh, that will work. It's not high. It's not, it's not the prettiest shot in the world, but the end result is all that matters. All the pins went down. A little bit of tripping from Gephardt going on. They all fall down. They do all four down, going into ninth frame. As, as I said, you're probably not going to win if you're down by 50 right now. All in, down by 30. And that you can make up going into 10th frame. Except they got one more frame to do it. We're going into the ninth. And it doesn't feel like Kankaya extend their lead. It feels like Kankaya survive. Double here would be huge. And he got it. And he got Big go. double from Kaya. Sugarfoot got a double in the ninth frame going into the 10th frame. That's huge. Back over to Wallace. Big. Big. Big shot, big buckets of beer over there. Are, are those all your buckets of beer over there, Matt? Listen, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. Yeah, we're here for a good time. Beer is here. Got a couple of cold frosty ones up there. If Andrew Wallace gets a strike here, they'll go up a dish, they'll eat into that lead by 10. Well, they'll go back into it. 
Wow, still going to cut it down to 40 pins. There it is. And got a strike. Both bowlers on doubles going in the 10th frame. That's huge. It is. That was one of those guaranteed. Now they need that Jason Bechter to hit another a strike, strike here as three. well. That's right. They'll no, eat into the lead another 10 pins. Another strike not only makes it 30, but baby pop is only, even with that, he's only working on a strike. Bechter strikes here. He's working on a double going into the 10th frame. And so that will force the lead down to 20 pins. Exactly. Question now becomes, if he doesn't do it, then what happens going into oh, the 10th then frame? Then we'll see what he leaves. Right now, he's not leaving anything. That's three in a row for Bechter. They're bearing down. All in now down by 20 pins going into their anchor bowler. 31. Down 20. Double the strike. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It says 31 right there. I know it does, but it's double the strike. That's why it's I 20. You. I got you. Brain's still working on the math skills. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I'm learning how you're, how you're computing it. That's all. By the way, obviously if Gephardt doubles, they will still have the lead, albeit a 20 pin one going into the 10th frame. If he does not, he, they can cut to under 10 or even take the lead if Gephardt opens. Gephardt has to Gephardt do his is, part ooh, and he leaves pin. the 10 pin. So now a strike from Walsh and it is now a 10 pin game. Wow. This could get ugly very fast. I, I'm not sure about ugly, but it can get close. Shot here by Walsh. Is it good? Yes, it is. So now everybody on uh, all in going into the 10th frame has at least two strikes. They're all in on doubles. All the other, the way that the scoring works over here from looking at it, Hamilton, anything more than that's already been added into the system. So Gephardt gets to spare. However, it is now a one pin game. And more importantly, if all in goes out the door from a mathematical standpoint, there is nothing Kaya can do. That is correct. Kaya needs all in to make a mistake somewhere along the line. If they don't, all in will steal. Being down by 50 going to the eighth frame, all in will steal game two. What Kaya can do is make it as difficult as humanly possible. That is true. Can we start out with Sugarfoot, a.k.a. Daniel. He has to strike here. I mean, they all have to strike here. They not, they not only all have to strike, they have to strike and hope that All In makes a mistake somewhere down the line. One reason why I said that, he's setting the tone. So sometimes you can set the tone with the energy, just like Loco can do the same thing for his team. If he gets a spare, that might, that's not going to stop the bleeding, but I just want to see what it gets down to for the well, no, uh, anchor man. It absolutely will stop the bleeding. Yeah. Get, they, if they go off the door, they win. If he doesn't strike here, right. then they won't go out the door. Then the advantage goes right back over to Kaya. And then Kaya can close him out. First shot here, will he get the strike? Yes, he will. Five in a row for Wallace. This turned out to be a better match on the first team handicap than I thought. Oh, this is a barn burn on the handicap side. Strike coming up here. No, sir, 10 pin. And now All In can take the lead right here with another strike from Wallace. Now, before you say, well, wait a second, Gordon, I see that there's only two marks. Why can All In win and it doesn't matter what Kaya does? Because the, because the anchor bowler, a double to a spare. If you, if you strike out on the double, that is 60 compared to the 40 that you get on a spare. That will be 20 pins. That will make up the 19 pin difference. Except right now, you can have a 19 pin difference right here. Strike here from Wallace, looking for six. Left the no. spare. No, seven pin. Add more drama to the to the more, match. More drama. I'm, I'm sorry, four pin, not seven pin. Let's put it this way, Gordon. The numbers oh, aren't. No. aren't now, in. Now that's that is really that is a real important one pin over there. Because you see that 31? That's they right. have a slight advantage off the 31. If he makes a spare, that's 30. That's correct. That's correct. Now, as you were saying, sir. Forget my point now. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Kia, Kia, Kia needs, needs uh, Agent Zero to get a split or a spare on the first shot. And Baby Pop has to strike out just to give him 
uh, even potential chance to win the match. Well, right now, because they didn't strike out, if both if both bowlers strike out now, it's a tie. That is correct. Let's see what Baby Pop does since he's up. He has to strike. Baby Pop looking at pressure with that strike. He does. Okay. Big double. One at Baby a time. Pop. One at a time. Baby Pop throw the first strike. Let's see what Agent Zero does. If he strikes here, this will get closer and closer. It's still tied. Tie. Well, it's yes. closer and closer. Right now, it is. It's as close as you can get. Right now, they're both even. But he needs a strike here to get it down, and he does. Five, four in a row for Bechter. Man, oh man. That's a and heartbreak, we, we Gordon. We are still technically, oh, it's a heartbreak at all. It's exciting. We're still technically tied right now. Yeah. No advantage, no disadvantage. Jersey looks good. The cross is Brooklyn. Even though that's the a Jersey, strike. Jersey, Philly. <laughs> yeah. Philly was yesterday. Today is more, we're closer to New York, so. I don't know, sort of halfway. No. Park Succeed was only 20 minutes away from here. That's true. So it's pretty close. I'd say it's still Philly. Still Philly country. Well. But Gauntlet back over to Becker. In order for them to keep it tight, he's got to strike here. He's got to strike here. Shot coming out. That ball looks good. It is Woo. not. Okay, the 10 pin goes down, but more importantly, the 7th pin stays up. Baby Pop still has to strike here. They have no room for error. Well, they, they still don't have room for error, but he doesn't have to strike. He's on the fill. Nine would No, be. he has to strike because... Well, nine gives him that one pin lead back, and it doesn't matter because he won't. Exactly. Nine pin will force him to make the spare. So because of the non-strike, here's the deal. Any mark from Gephardt, Kaya wins. If Gephardt opens and Walsh goes out the door, game goes to all in. What's your prediction here? My prediction is someone will throw a mark. I don't see double open. That's my prediction. <laughs> I agree. I want to see what Ed Walsh does in this 10th frame because... Well, Ed, Walsh, Ed Walsh's first ball has got to be a strike. Or got to be a strike. They can't catch him. Yes. And that was a big double by Baby Pop that set that up. Ling Shanda. He goes first, definitely trying to put the pressure on Gephardt. Here's the first shot, as I said, they gotta have it. He does. Oh boy. First shot, and what that means. Matt has to throw a strike here. Holding on, will he do it? Yes, he does. That's one. <laughs> Big ba strike. Ba Baby Pop really helped his team in the in the with this throwing that second strike in well, again, the 10th well, frame. This has got to be a strike. And yes, it, it does. Then Gephardt's got to throw another one. You're That's right. That's true. Second not here coming up. He's got to have it. Does. Puts more pressure on Gephardt. He hasn't been consistent throughout. Let's see if he can get the. Let's see if again, he can. Again, there's still a tie, high possibility here because if he makes a spare here. That's true. Then they're guaranteed at least a tie. That's true. He has to crank it up. However, if he strikes, they win. Oh, boy. Tempin. Spare is huge. Mr. Ed Walsh has to, has to throw a strike. Uh, he's got to throw a strike just to force him to get the spare. Yes. Even though the strike gets him a point. Yes. Try for the point. All in will get a point. Gephardt makes a spare. Kaya will get a point. That is correct. And we'll be tied. That's a lot of pressure for, for a 10 pin. A lot of pressure, but no Picks problem it with it. We yeah. are tied. One, one. Is there going to be more blood bathing over here? or? Are you gonna give him, are you gonna give him a little bit of sunlight, which of course hurts vampires? No, if we keep uh, the pace we're keeping, we'll we'll let the blood flow. Let the blood flow. Right. Are you are you gonna let him live, uh, Dennis? I I know. You, no. you, you, they're gonna bleed him dry, I think. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what the prediction is. 
Allen's prediction is they're going to be bled dry. We're going to start over here in Game 3. We are eventually going to go over to Handicap Pair 2 for Game 3. I'm actually sort of interested to see, interested to see what's going on on the Handicap side. I'm going to chat with Mr. Troy Gafkin over here. Focus on Handicap 2. Okay. So, Troy, we're going to be focusing on Handicap 2. So, first of all, hi. Oh, over here? Oh, yeah, what's up? So I, I know you guys lost the first game thanks to somebody's 172 from a former world champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I'm know, sorry, no, not former world, former Northeast, but still. Yeah, but to be fair, we all bowled poorly that game. Um, a lot of mismakeables from all three of us. So yes, but it's much more fun to blame John. I, it is, and trust me, I've I bowled tag team with him, so it's easy to put the blame on him when things exactly. don't go exactly uh, the way it should. But no, uh, I I was upset. I. Um, Wrong ball in my hand for the first half of the game. I tried to force it and it didn't work. Switched to the vibe and then went out the door for 180, which is not anything surprising. But for us to bowl that poorly and only Did you beat lose John the first scratch? game. Well, there's that. Yes. But mm -hmm. to also only lose the first game by, I think it was like 32 pins. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's you know, what it was. We, we mitigated the... Uh, what, what could have been a disaster into something, you know, achievable. Did you win game two? We did by, I want to say it was like 80 or 90 pins. So, so, we, right now, we made up so, you, so you have the wood. You have the wood here. You have the wood there. You're not going to take 40. You could take a lot. And I'm going to check over after game two from what the people that are chasing you are doing. But right now, the people that are chasing you so far, they won a total of one game by South Jersey Strike Force. Wow. I mean, um, hell I will, yeah was, oh no, they, well, they got swept game one. So I will say this, um, as someone who bowls here regularly, Hamilton is not an easy house. Um, I, I've, I've seen this before, I've commentated here before. Yeah. Hamilton can be very squirrely um, very quickly. It is definitely a place that if you're not prepared to make adjustments, you could find yourself in, in, in danger very fast. Down by 270 pins, like your team is up on scratch. Hey, I mean, I looked at it, I believe that if... Everything goes our way. We could take 37. So I mean, like that's correct. It's it's out there, but there's a lot of work left to do. And uh, this this is it. This I know a lot of shade gets to be thrown their way, but KAEA is a good team. They do have good bowlers. I mean, Joey and Matt were tag team champions. Matt was a cruiserweight champion. So taking them lightly is would be foolish. Well, so. I don't see how you can say a lot of shades going to be thrown this way when second place and third place are both losing oh, at yeah. this point. You still need to beat the teams that are in oh, front 100%. of you. Then the but UBA, you, and you need to take as many points as you can. Oh, 100%. And, and um, that's why I always laugh because we've, we've, been, we've gone back to back winning the district, but nothing's a give me. Nothing at all is a give me, and we're going to keep fighting. So I have to get back. To all right, good luck. All right, so that was from Troy Gafkin. Troy Gafkin, no slouch. He is also a former Northeast Cruiserweight champion, as you are painfully aware of. Yes. Because I believe one of the title reigns was at your expense. Well, he, he did. I, we, we have a back and forth relationship. He, uh, he beat me in the title match, but I'm up three to one on him. And I beat him for the title. No, no, I'm sorry. I beat uh, Raul Renteria for the title the first time. Now we're going to go over to the handicap side. On game three, we're going handicap pair two. Kaya has 38 pins that All In has to go get after. Yes. And right now, let's look at our lineups. All In, we have William Bittenbender on top. In left the middle, hander. your former lefty. In the middle, your former Northeast Heavyweight Champion, Jonathan Dansbury. At the bottom, your Northeast Cruiserweight Champion, former Troy Gafkin. Which I find interesting that they put her in the anchor spot. Anyway, talk to me about Kaya. Okay, with Kaya, you have uh, Dominique Fairfax. You have uh, Dave Rubin and Joseph Valerio, former uh, tag team champion with Matt. Crank it up. So they're not, they, they actually are making it very competitive over there. They lost the second game by 50, but they won the first game. So you, you never know what this third game would do. Like, like Troy said, this house plays very crazy, and you never know what kind of. Uh, production you're going to get in the last game. The la the lane should be burnt up, which means that here in this house in particular, it's going to it's going to break real hard to the pocket. Now you want to talk about stories and backstories here. So Bitten Bender, who just started, he just threw he just threw the double as we're starting the third frame, and you can tell from his other hand, and he's called Gimpy Pump. He was 
born with a disability, that hasn't stopped him from rolling the UBA, and that certainly hasn't stopped him from being used as one of the major players for the first place team. Exactly, you know, and he's a left-hander, and he's very good as well. He carries a 225 average. Yeah, he, he's really good, and you know, people ask all the time, well, I'm this, well, I'm that, well, I bowl in the UBA. As you, as you know, as long as you know how to throw a ball, any team will pick you up. That is correct. It does not matter about any anything else. And we've been diverse long before everybody else is claiming diversity. Exactly. If you can pick up a bowling ball and you can throw clutch shots in the 10th frame, nothing else matters. And you can just tell by the people that are bowling in this matchup. First place, all in. Here's our first look at Jonathan Dansbury. And he throws a strike. Throws a strike. Hey, Jonathan Dansbury. He, and that's his former tag team champion, Troy Gafkin. Troy's tell him, keep it up, young fella. Yep. So Dansbury with the strike. And yeah, we got a thumbs up from him. Because you know Strom well, if he opens, you know exactly that we're both going to rip into him like a paper tiger. <laughs> hey, I don't suck. Yay. The children, John, the children are watching, and your big head's in the way. Did I break the camera? Probably. Probably. I'm, sorry, I'm doing the children a favor. But, and by the way, you're the low man on your team at this moment. Again. Hey, if I'm low, hey, if I'm low man and we're winning, I'll take it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but if you're low man with the 172, chances are you're not winning. We want to know what he shot game two. It doesn't matter what he shot game two. Well, he's about right. It was, it was nothing important. Only 211. Only 211. Uh, all right. It doesn't matter to back up Matt over here because he didn't he didn't break two hundred game two, so that's why it didn't matter. Yeah, but he took more more points than you did that last game. No, we won that game. Oh no, they won game two. They did not win game one. Oh, you're talking about oh for the day. Yeah. Oh well, well that's about to change real fast. That's going to change. As as much fun as we were having with Jonathan Dansbury, now we're going to go over to fourth frame with all in. Gimpy Pimp is up. Oh, known as the right hand man. The right, I, I like that too. Oh my goodness! All right. Anyway, Bittenbender is up. Dominique Fairfax is up on the other side for Kaya. Voltron is his nickname. Bittenbender, right now, that looks good. It is three in a row there. And, and if you're looking, all in seems to have the better look all three games so far, the first two and a half games that we've been looking at. That is correct. Let's see what Voltron does with the first ball here. Dominique looking to follow suit. Mm. Dominique did follow suit with a strike. Dave Rubin up does not follow up with a strike, has a bucket. If Jonathan Dansbury does strike, A, it will be a double, and B, he will finally find somebody that he will have a better score than. Well, we'll see. Maybe. Let's let him, for Dansbury, you have to go frame by frame. Now for all those saying, yeah, well, you're poking fun at Dansbury. Yes, we are. Looking up here, looking at double. And hey, what, there's a double. And he left a split, a yeah. baby split. Left a baby split. Let's see if he can pick it up. Look well, at this. we got baby pop on lane four, and then a baby split on lane six. That's right. Let's see. Do you think Dansbury picked that up? I have faith in Jonathan Dansbury. I think he will pick it up. My faith in him has been misguided before, though. But I, I will have faith in him right now. The both of you used to be commentators together, so let's see if he can actually uh, pick that up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling Dansbury on this one. Looks like Dansbury. Well and he did not. Open. He left the ten pin. And once again, my faith in Jonathan Dansbury <laughs> has been forsaken. Misguided. <laughs> Dansbury, I, I bet that you were going to make the spare. No, I didn't. I, I, I'm not going to bet on anything if Dansbury's going to make anything. <laughs> Look, he still has to bowl me at Bristol. No, no, I, I like Troy Jackson's chances, and there it is. Three in a row for him. Yeah, Troy's locked in. He, he was the one that carried when they were the tag team champion. He was the one that carried that team. And now Valeri needs to make a strike here because, at a big because, Allen has already taken those 38 pins of handicap away. Wow. So they have been caught. If Valeri does not strike here and throw a double, then here comes the onslaught. 
Well, being and, as and the vampires that we're starting on the scratch pair may be starting to float around above handicap pairs. Oh, there, he's saying that he gets more pins. Okay. Really? It's not really going to matter either way, though, at this point. Uh, he does. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Actually, no, that would be accurate. No, no, here. Oh, I see what he's saying. All right. He's talking about the wood. More importantly, though, they have this. No, they do does not have the strike. So the wood has now officially gone. And now this is going to be a scratch match the rest of the way. And when I say that, it is advantage all in. All in is, is, has been dominating all day. They were looking for 40 at, at the beginning. Even though they didn't get 40, they, they did a t hell of a they're, match. They're not getting now they're looking they for 37. 37. Yeah, 37 points is still a lot, being as though the other two teams, who were second and third place, only had one after the first first well, game. Well, that's after game one. I'm now going to yeah. go and see what they're doing after game two. I shall be right back. All right, Gordon. Okay. Then you can make fun of Jonathan Dansbury while I'm gone, and then we'll make more fun of him when I come back. Sounds like a plan. I, I'm not complaining, uh, Troy. You look like you're on with uh, triples here. Uh, yeah, seven spare, three in a row. You know, we're, we're keeping it smooth one at a time. I see. You better get on Dansbury to make sure he, he stays focused. Uh, come he on, has man. two opens back to back. That's true, but there's no – I've learned a long time ago that you just got to let the, the inmate run the asylum here. Like trying to talk to Dansbury is a moot point. He's going to do what he wants to do. We just got to hope that we can, you know, keep him in line. That's all. <laughs> That's true. Well, if you guys, if all, if you win on all three pairs, you'll 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 secure uh, 37 points. That'll be very good, and considering that the, uh, well, right now Gordon's going to go check on the other two two uh, second and third place teams. So, but. number one thing, and I mean this with all respect, I'm not worried about anybody else. Um, this is our division uh, until we decide that it's not. So we just, you know, make sure we're not beating ourselves. That's all. One, one, one frame at a time. So you're saying that you're going to win this division. That's what you're saying, Troy? I'm saying that a three-peat is what I'm going for. I, you know, I believe in my guys. I think that when we're rolling on all cylinders, you know, we're, we're a tough team. Like, I know a lot of people like to throw shade on the PA North, that it's not a tough division. But, uh, you know, we're going to keep doing what we do. All in, baby. Okay. You heard it from the former Cruiserweight North champ. All right, back on for, uh, first team handicap. They're down currently by 59. If Matt throws a strike here, they'll be down by 39. They can still win this match here on this pair, that is. They can't win the match, but they can win, at least win their pair. Troy throws four in a row on the second team handicap. They're eating into that lead. They have a four-bagger by their leadoff guy, as well as with Troy on the on the first team on the second team handicap. All in is only up by seven, but really uh, thirty-seven. I'm sorry, twenty-seven. Mr. Dominique Fairfax just put put up a four in a row. Let's see if uh, Mr. Bittenber Bittenbender can match the lefty, can match it with five in a row on the second team handicap. He had a double dribble, but he still gets a strike. That's five in a row for Bittenbender. Bender. That's huge. Let's see if Voltron can get a double. It seems like here the middle pair, the middle guys, Voltron and uh, Dansbury, are the ones that make or break this the second team handicap for their teams. Voltron just hit a strike. He has a double up. He has a double in that in that in the in the frame. Let's see if Dansbury can match him with a double as well. He 
He has nickname Dingo on the back of his jersey. So that's it. It's a big strike here if he gets it. And Densbury leads the ten pin. So at this point, uh, anything can happen with this match. Let's see, Joe has to get it back on the strike, and he only has one strike in the last game, which is huge. So, and what makes life wor a little bit worse for Kaya is that one of the things that I was informed about is that All In gets another five pins added to that score on that pair. So instead of All In being down by 13, and they're not down, they're going to be up. They're going to be up by five more than what's currently on the sheet. Oh, that's not good for them. Would well, that, would it's, it's very good for them. It's not good for Kaya, but what's really good for All In is going around and looking at what the other teams are doing. Okay, what, what's your report, uh, Gordon? South Jersey Strike Force right now, since John, Jonathan Dansbury's here, I'll, I'll do the, the report on what's going on around him. Don't put your big head right next to the camera. Over there, please. And don't break the camera. South Jersey Strike Force is tied 6-6, six, six, but however, they don't have the wood. They're down the wood by around 135 going into game three. Hell yeah. Oh no, they have four points after two games and they're losing the wood everywhere. If that goes down, it may be going 36-4 the other way. So right now, if Allen does what they need to do, they may be opening up a very big gap between them and everybody else. Your thoughts, sir? Um, that all sounds nice. It don't mean anything if we don't handle our business. Right now, um... You need to take care of your own business. Yes, exactly. That's the point. we got to handle business here. We're not done yet. We'll do our thing first here, and then we'll look afterwards. I mean, that's good news to hear, but we're not done yet, and they're not done yet either. Anything can happen. That doesn't mean you can relax, uh, Dansbury. Your, your, your uh, leadoff man and your anchor man are, le are help helping, holding well, you they're, up. They're carrying the dead weight on the team. What's that? I'm sorry. Your, your leadoff bowler and your anchor, well, they were carrying the dead weight on the team until your anchor just opened, but, but they are carrying the dead weight on the team. That, that, that dead weight guy in the middle, he stinks right now. He, he can't strike on the right, on the right <laughs> lane right now. He'll figure out the right lane. If he could bowl in the left lane, only the left lane, he'd be good. Okay. Anyway, going to the seventh frame, and the one bowler that can bowl, bitten better, right now is on five in a row looking for six. And it's a tight game right now, all in up by around 10 and change. Bittenbender looking to keep space with the strike here. And he, he got six in a six row. Six in a row for Bittenbender. Other side, Dominique Fairfax. He started off with four in a row, then he had a seven bagger, picked up the spare. Let's see what he does this time. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He had four in a row. He's going to see if he gets the five in a row. Well, actually, he went strike, spare, four in a row. Right, sorry. Now looking for five in a row. And he needs it badly, and he's not going to get it. And he leaves the 10 pin. Now, I understand the thought of, well, we still have to get our business done. They're very close to getting their business done. Yeah, but, like, because of this house, I always say nothing is given. Well, you got to take it at this point. You can get an untimely split in the ninth or 10th frame. That could hurt your team drastically, you know. What? at going down the pike so yeah, except what they're hoping for is to be up by so much that the untimely split will not matter he is keeping it close on the second team handicap he is and part of that's because of jonathan dansbury however that is a strike from him a meaningful strike especially since uh dave rubin is on a is on a double well, rubin woke up uh, and, and however dominique open that is that is not good for kaya and Mr. Fairfax missed the 10 pin, so they have an open on that pair. That's not in the seventh frame, so that's not good. He's going to need uh, his two Voltron to throw a strike here to get a triple. Well, the, the other thing that he's going to need is that he's going to need Troy Gafkin to make a mistake here. And Troy Gafkin And did Troy not. throws Another a strike, strike here. Yes, sir. Troy seems to be locked in, so they're going to they're gonna have to do everything they can to get this down. That miss may turn out to be the, the backbreaker for the game of Fakia. Uh-oh. Well, no, that Voltron. may be the that, that may be the backbreaker for Kia. No, that's the nail that in the coffin. Sense? That might be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, this is a very inopportune time for Kia to stop striking and even more inopportune if they stop marking. Now you do have Joseph Valeri down there in the anchor spot and it went from it would be very nice to get a strike to oh my goodness, we need to strike. We have the Pocatinos 
that are that are doing very well now. However, the only problem is you can't have nine of them on all three pairs. Play right now with the spare. Player with the spare going in seventh frame. Joe's going up to throw a, a strike. If he strikes here, they'll yeah, still Joe's be down. They'll still be down, but at, but at least they'll have something to work with going into the eighth frame. That is correct. They'll because right now, Kaya is responsible for the destruction of a bunch of dams. And he gets a strike there. So even though it, it, they pull close, going into the next frame. Well, this frame the, is going to determine this game. The Gimpy Pimp is already, he's already on what, one, two, six strikes in a row. Well, let's, let, let's have a discussion here. You have three bowlers on all inside with strikes. If they all manage to double, they'll be adding 40. And with two frames left to go, that's going to spell really bad news for Kaya. Dominic finally does get a strike in the eighth frame. However, that open and the other open. Yes, back to back. By open. Dave Rubin could be very costly. Let's see what Bittenbender does. If he throws a strike. The match is over again, on that pair. I'm not going to say the match is over. I yet, will. But I will. be the beginning. Because 40 pins. Well, if they all strike out, it's 40 pins. Exactly. If they all strike out at the end of the eighth frame, I will say it's over. I, I tend to call it early. Oh, that's not a good. Oh, buried. Big strike for Bittenbender. That is seven in a row for Matthew. Except He's, now when I'm saying that, I'm also making saying that Jonathan Dansbury is going to actually throw a strike over on lane six. And if you've seen what he's done on lane six, there is nothing that should be filling you with confidence that he's going to do that. Yes. I wonder if his team has confidence in his bowling at this point in time. You know, I think, I think they do because somebody like Dansbury, who's a bit silly and a bit goofy, that somehow can lower the pressure down on everybody else. He's a gamer. He is a gamer. And Troy Gaskin and the Gimp, Gimpy Pimp are actually carrying him t today, so. Right now, all in, up by 32, or 37. Dansbury's making look, making, to what? To make it 47. He, hey, he goes, it comes up with a double. Dansbury. Now you know you're in trouble if Jonathan Dansbury's doing Yes, doubles. that's true. He's, put, he's putting the nail in the coffin. They're oh, tapping not, around on the out, yeah. outer shell of it. Nah, still not yet, because you have potentially four to four. So now let's see what Troy does. Nah, I'm going to call this one early. It's, it's, it's done. Valeri looking to double. He does not. Seven pin goes up on the board. Gafkin looking to make this technically 39, but that doesn't include all the strikes on the back end, and he won't do it. Nine pin. So Troy with a nine pin. Assuming that now they're still going to add some marks, so assuming that he makes a spare, they're going to be up by around 50 ish going into the ninth frame. Well, Larry will make the spare. What pin is that that Troy has to pick up? Is that uh, the Troy's 10 or 9 pin? It looks like a 9. So it's, it's a very makeable spare. Even if it's a 10, it's a makeable spare. It's a yes, for more him, yeah. It's a nine. Troy generally picks up anything. The, like the 10 pin. He doesn't miss too often. He does not. And he will not. It's fair for him. So another 5 to 3 go showing. So all in up by around 57 going into the ninth frame. This one is pretty much close to a wrap. Because we've noticed before, if you're down by 50 going into the 10th, you're almost certainly not winning that match. Yep. Well, like I said, Gordon, I called it two two frames ago, so. You did, you did. That's the one thing you've gotten right so far today. I'll give you your props. <laughs> yeah. You take your victories where you can get them. That's right. I would sing a little victory song, but no one wants to hear me sing that. Please, no. I will not. Plus, my falsetto. If Jonathan Dansbury's head didn't break the camera, my falsetto will. <laughs> Look for eight. Got it. Eight in a row for Bittenbender. That'd pretty Bittenbender much do it. Bittenbender can go out for a two and 90. Uh-oh, he said knock, knock. Knock, knock. And, and now for Kaya to be relevant in the 10th frame. Everybody on their team's got to throw strikes, and I mean everybody. One, one mistake here, it's over. Even if it wasn't over before, it may be over now. That's right. 
Let's see, what up, Let's see if Dingle could put a triple on here. Looking for an improbable three in a row here from Jonathan Nansbury. There's a shot. Will he do it? No, he uh, will. He, of uh, course, of will course he, he would get seven, the 7-10. Way to go, Dingle. The problem is, of course, K in order to take advantage of, it's got to throw doubles. Dominic's two pin pretty much ends this. We were hoping that D Dansbury could bowl all three games good, but uh, I was actually hoping that he would bowl one game good. He did. I, I think he did, right? Then he get no. bowl decent the second game. He got over two hundred. Well, yeah, but that's not exactly good. And the gutter monster claims another victim. That is true. Now he threw that. He rocketed the ball into the gutter. Dansbury may may clear one ninety. Uh, I'm not betting on that. I'm not either. And that's so that's how, what's however in order again in order to cut into this they got to start throwing double spare is not good enough because if Kai throws two spares that's great but Bitten Bitter's got that match so they will not be able to make up any sort of ground. Troy right now looking for the strike and he made nah. a punch in the air and he leaves that the nine, like nine pin and it is. So Malachi. Yes, sir. Looking over at this, in terms of Kaya, obviously, as we said, Kaya had to win this one, they will not. So season over for Kaya. But now that you've seen all in, how much of a threat do you think that they will be in the playoffs? Because there's no way there's no, they're definitely, even if they, for whatever reason, don't come in first, they will definitely be making the playoffs. How much of a threat will you give them going in? Well, you've now seen them, and they I've look pretty impressive. I've seen them. I've also seen them against uh, the PA South in the past. By by the way, disclaimer: Mr. Malachi is part of the PA South. That is true. He is the president of Mass Destruction. By the way, who who are not slouches in terms of the World Championship Series, because not only have you been a former cruiserweight, they've been a former uncapped tag team champion. That is tr correct. Now let's let's say this here. Um, in terms of what they they have potential, I'm not going to say they don't they can't win anything. By the way, Valeria with the strike, it's now down to 35 pins or 40 pins going into the frame. It's 35. It's 35 over there because you still have a four to three on marks. But as I mentioned earlier, all in does get an extra five pins. That five pins it would, could be big, and so so really it, it could be major going down the stretch. Really up by 50 50 pins. Yeah. So anyway. Mr. Mr. PA South person, yes, right. you definitely have seen them against the PA South. If I remember correctly, they did not do very good against the PA South. No, they no they didn't. So I, that that's one of the um, crosses they got to get off their back, one of the albatrosses, so to speak, that's currently ringing around their neck. One of the things that I I like about a strong heart division is because get part to ten. No, seven ooh, pin. seven leaves a seven pin. Yes, is that when you bowl against better competition. It helps to make your team better because as you, as you, as an owner or a person who's, who tries to get talent, you want to make sure that you're at least trying to match the, the competition that you have in the, within the division. Now, people say that PA North is not as strong as P PA South. PA South, by the way, one of their teams made it to the Elite Eight of Battle Bowl last year. Yes, two teams. Actually, well, yeah, no, they, one made, team. they made it to the Final 16. Yes, two teams in the Final 16, yeah, correct. That was Usual Suspects as well as Secret Society. Secret Society making it to you. The Secret Society two years ago made it to the championship matchup, so. Well, not two years ago, but a number of years ago. They, they have done it before, correct? No, it was. They play, they, when Exit Wounds won it, that's who they, that's who they bowled against. I will, I'll look it up and check that for yes, you. Yes, check anyway, that one. I know I'm right I'll on check that. I'll check it, okay. Because I, I commentated on that match. All right, fair enough. And Mr. Fairfax it has a double. Been, I, it may have been Brawl for All. It may not have been Battle Ball, it may have been Brawl. They were in that too. They, they were in the championship matchup. And I know that because Exit Wounds didn't win, it was Murder, Inc. Say it again? Ex Exit Wounds has not won the UBE championship yet. I don't think I believe that. Yeah, it was, was Murder, Murder Inc. Inc. Okay, so it was Murder, Inc., but still they went up against so. Secret Society. Well, anyways. Because El Dries been, was in that been, matchup. Benton Bender will finish with a 269. Great, great shooting on his behalf. He's he has helped to hold up Dansbury. Fairfax closes out the 10th frame with three in a row. So let's see, let's see what they do. Now they're down by 44. Now they're down by around 30 because you got the double of the open. Okay. 
So this could, if Dansbury wants to do what he did in the ninth frame instead of what he did with the eighth frame, this game can become very interesting. It could flip especially, very quickly. It could, especially because Valeria's got a strike to Gafkin's spare. And Dansbury doesn't seem to handle pressure well when it count, when it counts. So let's see if he well, throws a strike here. I don't know about here. that. He's, he's come to in pressure situations. No. That will not be one of them. I, you know what? When it comes to evaluating players, let me do that. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Let's see if he picks this up. He should pick it up. Well, but if he doesn't, becomes, will Ruben put pressure on him? Because I'm pretty sure Ruben's going to go up there first before Dansbury. If Voltron or Ruben throws a strike here, this could get quite interesting. Let's see if Pe D Dingle can pick this up. He has to pick this up. Definitely has to. Woo! Uh, he picked no, it up. He picked it up. He's good. Big spare for Dansbury. This is still not a. At first, I thought that that mat, that matchup was done. Yeah, you did say that, didn't you? First shot here. Oh, he gets a strike. Voltron gets a strike. That's a triple. And now all of a sudden, this went down from dual pins to single pins. This could, exactly. I thought you said this game was over. I yeah, you you're right. Over I didn't expect Dansbury to throw a split. <laughs> I think Brain needs to come over and and maybe needs to go to Brain. No, camp. I still think it's over. Dansbury on the fill. Nine pin. Now, remember those extra five pins that he said he's getting, and Kai also knows, so all of a sudden that could be a big play here. Dansbury will finish with a whopping 181. Voltron throw a strike here. That'd be another 20 pins. Well, if Voltron throws a strike it down, here. It'll bring the lead down to 13. Well, it'll do something else also. I'll explain momentarily. That ball looks good, and it Ooh. is, again, another strike for Dave Rubin. Now, keep this in mind. If he strikes here again, he's down by three. With the extra five pins, they're down by eight. However, there is a strike to a spare. So if Kaya goes out the door, they win. It does not matter what all in does. That is Troy correct. Gafkin right now is going to try to make it hard. There's a strike. Ooh, this is beautiful. Well, Gafkin right now, I'm sure, is going to make, is going to try to try to force Kaya to throw them all. Exactly. By the way, Valeri has been a former tag team champion. So he is used to having to throw strikes in situations. First one up though, Ruben. And Ruben finishes. finishes. He strikes out as well. So. 2 one Now it goes down to Valeri. If Valeri goes out the door, Kaya will take some more points and no more 37. It'll be 35. Or maybe it'll be 33 because over here it looks like Scratch is going to win. They're not going to take the wood, but Scratch will take at least one game. Oh boy. Now, Troy did not throw a spare, so first shot here has got to be a strike. If they throw a strike, he, they win. Looks like he got a good they, strike there. Strike yep, count. strike's got there. It. Let's see if he can follow his, follow the leader. Brain, you said it was over, Brain. You, you right. called it. You, you right. said it was over. I did. It's not over yet. Oh, no. That's why it's not over until it's mathematically over. That is, you, you, once again, you're right. Ma magic number is magic number is 50. They were down by less than that going into the 10th frame. Okay, now Troy can't bowl the ball anymore. Troy's all done. So, so they have 13, 7.09. 7 he needs a strike. With the five additional points, 7.09. He, Joe needs a strike in order for them to have a chance to win this match. No, he does not. Nine spare will win. Nine spare? Nine, strike will win. Nine spare, they'll get 19. They'll win by one. I like the strike. Well, a strike would be preferable. Anything less than that, and they lose. So a strike they win, nine they still can win. Boy over here has got to get at least nine. No. He only gets six. The game is over. All in wins. Wow. Once again, I was correct. <laughs> you, you're, you're correct by the grace of 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 Hamilton of uh, Hamilton Lane. Hey, he brought from. his hand across his body. That's all he did. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had a shot to win. He would have a shot to win. The game is definitely not over. Because you got to remember on the scoreboard it says one. You got to remember the extra five pins, which is why Kaya is not celebrating because we all know. That was over when he had six, when he got six yeah. and he needed at least yep. nine. Yep. So Allen will win that. They will go eight over there. They will go eight over there. That's 16. If they win this, they will go nine. 
Yeah. So they have they have thirty five. So yeah, it'll be thirty five. So right now, looking at thirty five five. Thirty five five. And we'll finish this one off. Uh, and he, Procaccino said it, and he's absolutely right. And that's one of the things that we were chatting about over here was that there's an extra five pins that's that's going to be added. You didn't know every pin matters. Everything counts. Yeah, we like to have the math correct in the beginning of the match, though. Well, you would. Unfortunately, they all knew about it at, the, at that mark. So they knew. However, it is what it is at this point. As all in, and in this handicap game continues to pour it on. That's a 243 from Wallace as we go right back over here. So Troy says, Brighton catastrophe, 35 to five. They almost had catastrophe over in the handicap twos pair. This handicap one pair, however, looks pretty good. This actually was a David versus Goliath match. Kaya was actually a, was able to get five points out of this. That's, that's not a bad day. That's a bad day. Well, being as though that they were already overmatched when they got into the match. So. Well, but, but you can't say that though. They could have they won this. You had, I mean, they couldn't have won this because of the wood. You could have won game two over here, which turned into a tie. You should have won game three over there. Correct. So you left a couple of points on the table. And you got blown out on the scratch side. So St no, it, Still it, doesn't it, add up to a win. It's not a good day. Actually, um, apparently Dansbury's average was wrong on the sheet. Oh, no, we know about that. We oh, know yeah. that you guys took the third that's, that's game. So it's 35-5. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know until afterwards. I didn't know anyway. Well, well I was going to say you didn't know. I know Dansbury knew. I knew we knew. Yeah, I did. So somebody so. knew. Hey. I Who mean, knew? It's not you a knew. sweep, but 35-5. Now, let me ask you a question. Who brought that to your attention? Or did you bring it to the, the, the uh, director's uh, attention? Game one before like the first frame, Dansbury was like, "My average isn't right." Took it up. No, and yeah, and and if game Dansbury came over to us in in the middle of game two, saying, "Hey, just let you know, yeah. the points are there," and then I confirmed it over with there. So everybody was aware of it, except maybe Troy. Yeah, but no, I, but I, I knew I, I knew Kaya was aware of it, and I knew that well, all in was aware of it. It was one of those things where like after game one, I bowled poorly, so it was like kind of just keeping to myself. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, was in my own world. But, you you yeah. put yourself in your own little man cave. Yeah. So I we mean, do that as bowlers. We like, do that sometimes. In my head, I was like, I needed to strike out mm -hmm. that last game to at least put the pressure on Joey. And then when I, I threw it a little fast, seven count, I said, "Damn, like that's a way to go." Well, uh, it, so it, who won the first game? Pressure. Uh, they did. They still won the first game. They won the first game by like thirty, like thirty pins, let's say. And then we won so game anyway, two by double that. Okay, so finishing this out. Bechter finishes with a 231. I'd like to thank Troy Gafkin for coming in. And 231 over here. Gebhardt can go out the door for 224. However, the damage has been done. If Walsh goes out, it's 267. They can win this last, uh, all in can win this last game by more than 100 pins, potentially. Yeah, well, All In already had the wood. The, the scratch pair game one made sure that All In had the wood, and that's the theme for the whole entire time. So unofficially, it's 35 5 All In. Yes, unofficially. I have to give a shout out to uh, Kaia. They want their scratch pair. They actually won the last game. So they, hey, still, they still hung into the fight. That's a, that's a good sign for a team. You never give up. Well, you don't. And, and the question, and they threw up some good scores. In the third game. So the question becomes, what would have happened if they figured that out earlier and didn't get run over the first two games? That is correct. Because the first two games, all in just... And that's what good teams do. Good teams set the tone, and they carry it. And that's exactly what all in did. They did, a, they did that on scratch all day, and they're doing it right now in the handicap where the games matter. And it does Jason Bechter on all in. Very nice debut for him on Caffeine TV. As his squad wins 35 to 5. Unofficially. That's right. Unofficially 35 5. They did not get the 40 piece. They did not get the 40 piece, so you get a dinner. That is correct. That's if Dansbury. Dinner from Jonathan Dan. Dansbury now tells me that he didn't, he didn't make the bet, so I'll let him off the hook. Baby Pop says he owes me dinner. He does owe you dinner. So, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So for Malachi Moore, last thoughts on this? 
Well, all in is going to the playoffs. Anything can happen, and I wish them all the best. Yeah, th this was many showcase of one of the teams that will be there. We'll see how much of an impact they make. But for our impact, our time is up. From Alki Moore, this is Gordon Pepper saying game over. Have a good night. UBA all day. Take care.